Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Pipeline channel. I am PL Jatman. Today, joined by the second place grand finalist, PL Cooper. Yes, so, sir. Cooper, how are you feeling, man? How how does second place feel? It's been it's been a day or two. Like, what what are the emotions that, that you're going through right now? Uh, I'm feeling great. Uh, definitely going into this grand is more of a not much of an underdog, I'd say, but individually, uh, going in as one of like the least uh what's the word favorite maybe? teams right in the grand yeah. i'm really happy i got to prove myself and mm. i'm happy to do it under pipeline's name so yeah that's about it so what <laughs> what preparation went into this season to to get you to the point where you could compete um and, and really make a name for yourself in grand finals um so playing with Mero was definitely like a new step for uh my career as in like learning a lot more um i actually started igling the season for my first time ever uh, playing with Merrill, one of the best fraggers ever to touch the game. So I had a lot to learn as an IGL, especially going into the FNC this FNCS uh, specifically because it was the uh, one season I got to prove myself with a really good teammate. Mm. Um, I worked with my coach, uh, Captor FN. Definitely the biggest impact on my career ever. Mm. Uh, we botted hours on end every day, uh, played scrims. Not even me and Merrill played scrims. I, I, I played scrims with Captor. I fucking won a vital session with Captor, believe it or not. <laughs> Nice. Um, but yeah, we worked, we worked pretty hard going into grants and I think it all paid off, which our mm -hmm. work pays off. I mean, what could I say? Yeah. So, so obviously, you know, second place, uh, top three in NA get to go to the LAN in Copenhagen at the end of the year. So what are you, what are your thoughts like on that? Um, have you, have you traveled internationally? Is this going to be like your first international LAN? Um, just kind of talk about Copenhagen for a bit. Right. Uh, so this would be my first time leaving the country. But I do have a little bit of experience under my belt traveling for tournaments. I went to DreamHack Atlanta and competed in the finals. I didn't do my best as it was a, it was like a new experience and I ended up getting sick mm. for the day of finals. But nonetheless, I'm really excited to try to perform myself on more of an international stage against people that are better than me. And I think it'll be a great experience. Mm. Uh, yeah, nonetheless, I'm excited. Yeah, so, so obviously, you know, like you were saying, uh, competing against some really, really high caliber players, um, including like the powerhouses from EU um how are you going to be able to stack up against them what what kind of things are you going to do um in preparation for that um i definitely believe that working harder uh you know will you know pay off in results and i think individually i'll be one of the most hard working people going into this land um obviously uh there's going to be a little bit of what would i say um not things in the way but uh what's the word obstacles mm -hmm. as many good teams land the same drops and end up qualifying so for instance mm. i qualified for you know copenhagen going north slappy another great eu team Tayson lands north slappy mm. so chances are we will end up getting contested in finals mm -hmm. which it makes a big difference but i think this goes for everyone as well but i'm excited to i'm mm. excited to go against the eu teams uh you know especially mm. eu because i think it's a great region so yeah, yeah. i'm excited for it well yeah i mean it, it seems going into this into this season um and, and going uh, leading up to this to this grands uh fate was kind of on your side uh can you tell us the the coin toss story because this is this is pretty interesting okay uh it's a pretty interesting topic so going into this season i was playing with seek uh definitely which is the guy i played with last season actually mm -hmm. uh we ended up sticking after not a great performance we didn't make grands because of a pretty rough issue i won't speak on it but um, going into the season, I played a Seek, and we did solid. Um, we did fine. And then uh, I got an offer from Rokane, which helped mm. a lot in my career. Uh, he helped me learn a lot. We played only about three cash cups together. I think we got like 15th, 7th, and like 20th in finals, which is, mm. which is an okay run. Um, but day before, day before FNCS, day one, um, I get a DM from Mero. And he starts asking me these questions like, do you think you're going to be the next cold? Uh, mm. He sends me a clip of like cold edit coursing a kid. He says, if you could do this, like I'll play with you. And then another question he had that was really funny was, is your voice squeakier than Peter Badariamzo's? <laughs> which is, which is hilarious. But nonetheless, yeah. it all came down to him DMing me uh, about a coin flip. Mm. And I had to guess heads or tails. And I'm assuming that if I didn't get the coin flip right, he would have played as somebody else. Wow. Uh, yeah. Nonetheless, I said tails. It was tails. And that's, that's kind of how it all came around. That's how we started playing. The coin flip of fate. That's crazy. Um, it is, man. So, so obviously, you know, you, you take a second in grand finals, make a name for yourself. Uh, people, right. you know, now know who you are. 
um, if they didn't before. What are your kind of your expectations going into next season? What do you what do you think has changed? Um, how do you think this next season is going to look for you now? I'm going to win. Okay. I think I'm going to win. Uh, I'm gonna. I think I'm going to outwork everybody, and I think I have potential to win. Um, I'm going to stay. I know it's pretty cocky what I just said, but I'm going to stay humble, and I'm going to get better on my own and not think I'm better than everyone. I significantly mm. do not think I'm better than anybody, but I do think I could win. Uh, I think mm. me and Mara will be a hardworking duo, and we have the potential to make it big. I think we can win next season. Mm. I think we can. Yeah, and, and you know, you, you get some opportunities um, to not only prove yourself in online tournaments, but some some online ones or some offline ones, excuse me, coming soon. Um, so like DreamHack Dallas coming up just a couple weeks away. Um, are are you ready? Are you, are you ready to compete in a zero build format as well? Maybe to prove yourself in in multiple t- different game modes. Right. Um. You know, zero builds uh, on this topic. I'm not the biggest fan of zero builds, but um. Obviously, I live right by Dallas, so there's no point in not going. Mm. Um. So nonetheless, I'm gonna be working, and I'm gonna be working towards doing good in DreamHack Dallas with my teammate Origin. Uh, a very talented no build player. Uh, most people don't think much of him, but people didn't think much of me, and you know. It ended up working out for me as well. So, I mean, I think, nonetheless, we have a good shot of doing well. Uh, Origin's a great kid. I think we can place really well as we've been working, playing scrims. And mm-hmm. I've been learning no builds. Uh, the goal is top 10 uh, in the finals because I would love to travel to Saudi Arabia. You know, mm-hmm. just keep stacking that uh, that land experience before yeah. Copenhagen. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to DreamHack Dallas. And I'm looking fun to... I'm, I would love to place top 10. It would be great. So, you talked about him a little bit. But is... My last question is... Is PL Origin overrated? Yes. Dog shit. Wow. Oof. Blow to the ego there, Origin. Sorry yeah. to hear. It's rough, well, man. Rough topic. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for this exclusive interview with second in grand finals, PL Cooper. Uh, we're excited to see where he goes uh, with this, uh, what achievements he can stack up next, and we will catch you all in the next one. Peace. Peace.